everyone's standing. Like she's the president. <laughs> Literally sounds yeah. like something my fifth grade band could have played. <laughs> <laughs> I, but the point uh, is her ego. All, her ego yeah, is out of control. Even in their defeat, even after they were cooed out by the Democrat Party, the Biden family is trying desperately to cling on to any last power they have. And recently, Megyn Kelly and Tulsi Gabbard exposed a hilarious story about Jill Biden that you need to hear. So, folks, I'm Vince for Resist the Mainstream. If you enjoy our content, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Why should you subscribe? Because that way we keep bringing you videos like this. And that said, let's get into it. I don't know who she thinks she is is, but I do think it might be someone with real power and it shouldn't be. <laughs> She's another Hillary That's Clinton right. who thinks it's a co-presidency. There was news that got recirculated this week. It actually was broken by the Washington Examiner in January of 2022 that she wanted her own hail to the chief song and mm. it happened. It's called fanfare for the first lady. And, uh, it was, being played for her over and over again. The Washington Examiner uh, reporting that she, that the Marine Corps band was instructed last fall, they wrote, to come up with an entrance theme for the first lady that the band now has in its repertoire an original composition titled Fanfare for the First Lady. The song, according to their source, is an original composition, and it's essentially Jill Biden's personal Hail to the Chief. This has caused, they report, amusement and confusion within the band, with some remarking that in the many years they've played in the group, this is the first time the group has had to provide the first lady with an exclusive entrance entrance theme. <laughs> right. And this explains perhaps why Jill Biden was not just so complicit. She actively cheered on the elder abuse of her husband. This is exactly why she was so resistant to Biden dropping out of the races. She is enjoying the power trip that comes with being first lady. But you know why that's also important? Because people may say, oh, why are you talking about the Bidens? They dropped out. It's over. No, because you know who has a lot of similarities to the traits current being discussed here with Jill Biden, Kamala Harris. They are both power hungry sociopaths, and that's why neither of them can be trusted. But let's keep playing here. The White House at the time denied it and said, well, she never asked anyone to create it. The band approached the White House with this proposal. But again, that doesn't square with the reports that the band is very confused no. about why they're playing a song for her at all. And to top it all off, Tulsi, it's a terrible song. Listen to a little <laughs> bit of this. Everyone's standing like she's the president. <laughs> Literally sounds yeah. like something my fifth grade band could have played. <laughs> I, but the point uh, is first her of all, ego. Her ego yeah, is out exactly. of control. Exactly. To, to, to again. And again, who else's ego is out of control in the Democrat Party that you know? Now they're on the top of the ticket. Exactly. I mean, they're just the lies that come from this White House are so egregious. I, they think they really think we're stupid and that somehow the Marine Corps band that serves across administrations all of a sudden had a novel idea to create an entrance song for the first lady for the very first time is just madness in my view. Uh, but also when you look at, OK, so if, if it's Jill Biden or it's her staff or whoever it may have been. Megan, I don't know about you, but I have never walked into a room and thought, oh, my gosh, I need music to to <laughs> right. hail my entrance into this room yeah, and the to let the audience know I have arrived. <laughs> exactly. It's it's like this might it is that mindset of arrogance and of being so self-absorbed and really thinking it's about you rather than the people that you're there to serve. Even as first lady, that is a job of service to the American people. And it's not about you. So why would you want to draw this attention to yourself? The only explanation is exactly what you said. It is about power 
and thinking that this world revolves around her and the husband that she's propping up rather than the people that they're supposed to be serving. And it's just crazy to think that Biden was this close to running for re-election again, literally only because Jill Biden was enjoying the power trip and ego that came with being the first lady. That was essentially the entire reason. It was obvious elder abuse. He was never fit. We all know this. They pretended like he was for so long and we shouldn't forget that. But you know, one day this entire freak show of a White House is going to be declassified and unpacked by presidential historians and I'm very curious to hear what actually went on behind the scenes during this administration because it's truly astonishing even when you just hear the rumors about it. It's the same thing that makes her insist on being called doctor even though she only has an advanced degree in education she is not a medical doctor. The same thing this necessary buildup of her ego that insists on that, that insists on a song in the trumpets, and that insists on her frail, non compassmentous husband staying in the presidency, even if it means he will exit the public stage in humiliation, in utter it's sad humiliation. It's really sad. It, that, that, that was the feeling that I felt uh, so much throughout that debate was just sadness, you know, for, for I, I've known Joe Biden for a long time and, and really, um, really sad to see him standing on that stage when for so many reasons uh, he has no business being there. So there's so much to say. First of all, it's funny how that song just wasn't even good. Like, you're gonna do this whole power trip, you want your own song, and then you make one that sucks, okay? And the thing is, if you simply think we have escaped the insane power trip of Jill Biden because Biden is no longer in the race, you would be sorely mistaken because this is a characteristic that for some odd reason does dominate politics in general. But let's also be honest about it, especially dominates politics among Democratic politicians. Kamala Harris displays many of these same power-hungry sociopathic tendencies as Jill Biden. Hillary Clinton did before. There are many more examples to note. And again, this type of mindset is dangerous. You cannot trust these types of people with power. There's no telling what they will do with them. And if you don't believe Kamala Harris was on a power trip this week at the DNC, just look at her. As her mentor and predecessor, Joe Biden was speaking on that stage. She would not even clap. She would not even smile. She stood there looking down at Joe like, mm hmm, that's right. I have the power now. She would not even show up, by the way, for her own VP Tim Walz's speech. This is very abnormal behavior. By all accounts, privately, Kamala treats her staff very poorly. She thinks she runs the place. She owns the place. Oh, you got to listen to me. Who's in charge here? Again, very dangerous. Tulsi Gabbard has made the point in the past. There's no telling what a woman like that, especially when she feels that her power is threatened in some way, will do with, say, the nuclear codes or anything, frankly, exactly why we need to be keeping Kamala Harris out of the White House. That said, let me know your thoughts. And until next time, I've been Vince with Resist the Mainstream. Peace.